Hey monkeys, welcome back to a brand new video. In my past videos um, on Steam specifically, I've been asked so many different questions, but the most frequently asked question is how do I get mods or how do I play on Steam? And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get mods or how to play on Steam. Obviously you can see I'm on Steam right now. I have a camera mod and uh, I have I'm, I'm on Steam so uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that and how to get mods like me now I do have to say please do not use illegal mods I don't condone it I do not recommend it it is it's your decision but I do not recommend using illegal mods um, like bark mod that's okay but like this mod or this mod I wouldn't use and if you're wondering how do I tell the difference between an illegal and a legal mod is if the illegal mod or the mod that you downloaded works in Publix like a mod menu that gives you an advantage and if it works in Publix it's probably illegal but if you have to go into a modded lobby then it's legal. Before we start the video, I have to say, these are the recommended specs uh, for playing on Steam. This is what me Meta recommends. Um, if you have anything below, at least a tiny bit below, uh, you should be okay. Because I have an RTX 2060, if you didn't know, and um, mine goes okay. But obviously it's not the best because it's below recommended. But if you have above recommended, then you should be fine. But anyways, let's hop into the tutorial. My mic cut out for this part, so I'm going to have to overlay it. But uh, first, what you want to do is you want to go to your browser. And you just want to go to the first link in the description. If you can't go to the link in the description, uh, just look up Monkey Mod Manager. Um. And it should be the first link by Dudley Kitten uh, on GitHub. You want to go down to the uh, middle right, I guess, where it says releases. You're going to click on that. Make sure it's on latest. And scroll down where you see monkeymodmanager.exe. Go ahead and download that. And uh, once you've downloaded it, just go ahead and run that. You can either run it from your downloads or you can run it just straight from the browser. doesn't matter. And if this shows up, just click OK. And uh, what you want to do is just locate your gorillatag.exe file. Um, if you go, it should come from uh, your either your data D or data C. I have in my data D because my C file is kind of full. But uh, yeah, you just go to your data D, go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Gorilla Tag, and then uh, Gorilla Tag.exe. Open. And then what you want to do, you want to scroll down in Monkey Mod Manager. Ignore all that. It doesn't work anymore, so just don't worry about that stuff anymore. Uh, you want to click BEP Inject, or you want to go to Libraries. Li libraries. Yeah. You want to go to BEP Inject, uh, Utila, and TMP Loader. It doesn't really matter if you do it, but most mods recommend it, so I recommend just clicking it. Then what you want to do is just click install slash update. I've already done it, so I'm not going to click it. I don't need to, but just click install slash update, and then the status, once it's done, should stay should say installed uh, successfully. Then you want to go to utilities, go to BEP index folder, and you should be in your BEP index folder. Um, all of this should be here, but you don't need to worry about that. We're worrying about, um, the actual mods and playing. So yeah, just go to Bepinex, plugins, and your plugin should be here. Obviously, I already have my, uh, profile already set up, but yours will probably just be playing with a few folders. What you want to do is go to the second link in the description. Again, if you can't do the link... Just look up Yeezy's camera mod, gorilla tag, or Yeezy's camera mod, it doesn't matter. With an I. Um, then you just want to click on the first link. It should be Yeezy, Yeezy's camera mod from GitHub. 
And you want to click on it again, go down to releases, make sure it's on latest, and download the .dll file. Then what you want to do, go back to your downloads, uh, open a new window for your downloads, and then have your uh, plugins folder open in another tab. Just drag your Yizzy's camera mod into plugins. Um, I already have it in there, so I'm just going to click replace. But uh, I just click move here just to demonstration. I click replace and uh, there you go. But yeah, you can close that out now. And also, if you want the Computer++ Plus Plus mod, uh, that you'll have to find in a Discord server or from a friend. Uh, you can't find that in, like, a GitHub or anything. I've looked. Also, if your uh, Yuzi's camera mod isn't showing up on your PC or isn't working, your game keeps crashing or stuff like that, um, you can um, either try and re-download the Yuzi's camera mod or go back to the mod manager and uh, just click install slash update again to update the mods. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, there's really nothing left for me to show you guys. Uh, now you can go ahead and just launch Gorilla Tag in Steam and you'll be able to play. Boo. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. You should be able to join and... The camera mod should be working. It should spawn right about here, and you should see yourself right there. Uh, if if it doesn't show up on your computer screen on where the camera is instead of behind you, um, try and update Utila or TMP Loader or any of the other stuff, or check if some of your mods are interfering. But anyways, that's it for the tutorial. Before you click off, I just want to say, I recommend using Virtual Desktop to play on Steam, but if you don't have the money to afford that, like a bro- Just kidding. But if you don't have the money to afford that, you can use Airlink, Questlink, or even Steam Link if that really works. But anyways, thank you guys for watching my tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Subscribe so I can get finger painter.